So we will s Hello my fellow Light to scenes, Kenzie Rachel, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Ayrshire. Back once again with another episode of Tom and Jerry Sins. In my last episode I mentioned uh, the World Cup. And it's Croatia that uh, are going to be against England in the semi-finals. Bear in mind folks, this is all at time of recording. I'm talking about this. A time of recording which is Saturday, July 7th, 2018 at time of recording. My previous episode, I'll have a, I'll have a, an annotation for that at the end of the video. As I mentioned, I asked who could possibly be going against England at the time. I didn't know because all I got was the scoreline at the end of extra time. And now we know the semi-finals for this year's World Cup, France versus Belgium, in England versus Croatia. It's going to be interesting to see where we go from here. Credit where it's due to Russia, though. The hosts get into the quarterfinals. Credit where it's due, I'll give them that. Anyway, on to this one. T42, that's T-double-E, not T-E-A. Because... Tom and Jerry will have to play golf in this episode. So, usual sin rules apply. Here we go. Until they get this theme in, as in the theme we know and love, the music at the beginning is going to be a sin straight out of the... Hang on. Straight out of the gate, until the theme comes into play. Okay, now I'm being really nitpicky here. In the bottom left, is the MPAA thing. Motion Picture Association of America. Technically, this one got approved before the last episode we just saw. So technically, shouldn't we have done this one first, instead of Mouse in Manhattan? Told you I was nitpicky. Wow. The golf course has been ruined already. Mind you, so are the golf clubs for that matter. And the signs. Wow. 51. Yes, folks, I was counting. 51 strokes to get that ball out of that massive hole that Tom has dug himself with, I believe that's a 9 iron. I don't know. They never specify what clubs they use. 51 strokes to get that ball out of that hole, which results in... Shock and surprise, 51 sins. But because of the property damage around the golf course, I'm going to double that. So we're already over 100 sins and we're not even 60 seconds into the episode. The timer on here says 41 seconds, by the way. But my point still stands. Two clubs left, Tom. Have fun for the rest of the round. Now, unless there's someone inside that hole, that ball should stay in. No, Tom, you shouldn't be able to do that. Two. Tom. What is so difficult about simply looking into the hole and finding out what the cause of the problem is? Tom, let's take you on the trip to the vet. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. <laughs> Jerry spots Tom. 
Tom is staring right in front of him. Get him out of the hole so you can put it the golf ball into the hole. What is so difficult about simply lifting him up, throwing him away, and then putting the ball in? What's so difficult about that? Okay, I'll take a sin off, because that's, uh, that's quite creative. Close enough. Yeah, that's definitely a trip to the vet. Also, the golf club shouldn't be able to do that. No, Tom. The golf club would have been ruined, and you would have had to get yourself a brand new set. Now that's what I like to call anti-stormtrooper aim. Okay, he has a putter that wasn't in there. And now he has a driver, which wasn't in there. Can someone tell him to simply get a new set of clubs? Also, 54 strokes. Let's add that onto the sink count because we're just going to assume he never completed the hole. One, Jerry needs a trip to the vet now. And number two, Tom is a bully to Jerry. No, duh, Kenzie! The club shouldn't do that much damage. I mean, how did Jerry manage to keep hold of that ball? when he got swung out of the grass with the ball. There's no way he would have been able to get out of the grass, grab the ball, and boom. Tom, you big, big bully. That's where the balls go to get cleaned, not the mice. Or in his case, Jerry being the T. Brrrr, shiny! Jerry wouldn't have that much water in his mouth. His mouth's not big enough to have that much. Ah, there it is. The infamous unrealistic physics and the infamous unrealistic sound design because that is glass shattering on teeth. It may not be the infamous gunshot fake out, but it's unrealistic sound design nonetheless. Also, at the speed that ball was going, not only would it have Obviously, it's shattered his teeth. But it could have caused, it, it would have, in fact, caused Tom to start choking on it, meaning game over. And no, the trees wouldn't do that. Tom's inhumane strength. And also big no 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 There's not a drop of wind on the course today Suddenly the golf course is a casino Also that's a lot of golf balls The bird is not a plane. Now how did he know specifically who to attack? Hmm, no. With how fast he was able to chisel away at that club, the, the bit you hit the golf ball with, that would have gone long before now. Where are all these clubs coming from? How? 
Oh! What a bully. That's animal abuse. Peters never prosper. Was Tom seriously not keeping track of his score as he went along? Right, couple of things wrong with that. Let's go through it one little bit at a time. Right. There we go. One. One, two, three, four. Four. And he puts three on the card. That's wrong right out of the gate. Because Tom cannot count properly here. Also, I counted... Let's go through this. The... The first shot. Then the teeth shatter. Then the trees. Then... The... Then the egg. Then the fake ball. And then Jerry. So that's six. So technically he should have scored six there. So for that... I'm going to class that as three sins for not actually putting the correct score, which I counted onto the scorecard. Also, why do these scorecards not have the par of the holes? Number one, how did Jerry get that thing off his head? Number two, he would also be good at Tom and Jerry's sins. He's partly right, but partly right doesn't even come close. You either right or you're wrong! Yes, 3 plus 3 makes 6, but that's 33. Which results in another 27 sins because he still put down the wrong score! <laughs> interesting method of keeping track of where the ball goes, but no, the ball wouldn't be able to maintain being wrapped around it like that. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. The way Tom wraps that string around where the ball is, it only gets the T, not the actual ball. So yeah, that wouldn't work. Also, Tom should have felt that being tied onto his tail. And that's definitely not possible. That could have easily been a hole in one. You didn't even need a driver for that one, you would have only needed like, maybe Five, maybe six iron? Oh, and just for the record, folks, I'm going to go through all the uh, mandatory clubs you need. You need a driver, a three wood, a five wood. I'm pretty sure, you, I'm pretty sure there's a three iron. Three iron, four iron, five iron, six iron, seven iron, eight iron, nine iron. That's seven and three, ten. Pitching wedge, sand wedge, putter. Thirteen clubs. He always picks the one that covers the most distance. Mind you, I'm one to talk. I'm just as guilty for that as well. I don't play golf. I just golf games. Like the PGA games, for instance. <laughs> Was that golf ball tasty, Tom? Didn't sound like it. We interrupt this episode of Tom and Jerry to bring you the rake sequence from what an episode of The Simpsons. And no, that is not happening. 
That patch of grass wouldn't be flying like that. Also, bombs away! Can you make your mind up on what this ball wants to be? Smallest items causing the biggest damage cliche. And just like the last episode, this demonstrates the value of watching where you're going! Ouch! That's another trip to the vet. Ouch! Number one. That's a lot of stings. Meaning a definite trip to the vet, or worse, death. Also, Tom just turned into Abraham Lincoln. Where did Jerry find that lawnmower? Suddenly, Tom is now a poodle. For some reason. All his fur wouldn't come off like that. Also, shouldn't the bees be constantly chasing him? Hmm, very clever. The bees would be able to see your reflection in the water and would just wait for you to surface. So, not so clever then. Also, we've just found our next par three. How did Jerry manage to get their attention given the fact they must have flown by so quickly? They must have been out of range. How did he manage to get them back? Also, how did he find the time to write that on there? Did he write it there for the eventuality that this could possibly happen? No! That shouldn't be happening! That's more property damage on the course! If you're looking down that pipe or straw, you are looking into his mouth, not his eyes. How did Tom have water in there? Long build up to inevitable strike of pain cliche. Okay folks, one at a time! Tom should be dead. Because the amount of bees that went into his mouth, he should be dead! Also, the water wouldn't be doing that. How does Jerry have the strength to lift the club like that? Also, how did he manage to find the strength to be able to swing that club to hit the ball as far as he did? Putting the sin tally for this one's gonna be fun. But nevertheless, we shall wait and see what happens. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, click the bell to join the latter DCS notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous episode on the left, playlist on the right. It's time for the bloopers now, ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime, Enjoy the rest of your evening, peace out, and stay faithful as always. And just like in the Yast episode, Yast? So why do these golf cards not have golf cards? Oh, no Tom, the golf club would have been ruined, and you would have needed to get blah.